Video 14, Step 4. How are households randomly chosen? Note, if you are using the EPI approach, the random selection of households is done as part of Step 3, and there is no need for additional household selection. Instead, the EPI approach should be continued until 20 households have been identified. However, if you are using the register or household enumeration processes described above, both of these methods generate lists of all households within a given supervision area. From this list, 20 households should be randomly selected for interview by picking 20 unique random numbers between 1 and the total number of households in the essay. Random number tables and explanations can be found in Annex 6 of the SCT portion of the Preventative Chemotherapy Monitoring and Evaluation Guidelines and in the videos below. The selected numbers correspond to the nth household in the register or on the cumulative list from the rapid enumeration. If the essay spans multiple villages, it is necessary to enumerate all households in the entire essay first and then select 20 random numbers once the total number of households is known. If the register contains a list of individuals, it is possible to select one person directly from the register. Once the 20 households have been selected, the team should have a local guide take them to each of the selected households. Here, you can see an example of which households were chosen from this household enumeration method. If there are multiple team members, the 20 households can be divided between the team members so that each person, or SCT team member village guide pair, does not have to visit all the households. Check for understanding. If the essay is comprised of five villages, how do you determine the number of people to select from each village? If you are uncertain of the correct answer to this question, please review this video again.